Say Bougie Vegetarian. It's your girl Keisha. And so today we're going to be doing a mental clarity moment with God and also a product review on Alani New. All right. So today we're going to get right into it. And today is on mindset. It's going to always be on mindset. But if I wanted to pick a topic for today, it's going to be on mindset, guys. All right. Let's jump right into it. And so we're coming from Isaiah, the 26th chapter, verse three. And it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. And this is the King James, all right? So now we're gonna go to the Amplified Bible and it says, you will keep in, excuse me, you will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you in both inclination and character because his trust, because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. Okay, so the reason why I'm, I named this mindset is because um, as believers, sometimes we get in our minds and we think that we have to do things alone. And I have mentioned this a, a couple of multiple times in um, other videos that we mentioned that we have to do things alone right. We forget that God is there for us. We forget that God is our all in all. We forget that sometimes that we need God. It's not in our own strength, right? And God always gives us a choice, right? God is going to never push his, his stuff on us. So, but God gives us a choice. And so therefore in our choices, we have to rely on God. We cannot rely on our own strength. And so re relying on God, this is what this looks like when it comes to our mindset. It says that if our mind is stayed on him, right? He will give us perfect peace, right? But we have to trust him, right? And sometimes we think that we know what's best for ourselves, right? And I'm speaking from experience when I say that. I will always say I'm speaking for experience because I have lived this, right? And I think it's important to always see that there is someone else that has gone through what you're going through, right? And if I have come out on the other side, baby, there is hope for you. There, you are going to come out on the other side, right? You're looking at somebody in the living flesh that has come out on the other side, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into this word. And the Bible says, he will give those whose mind is stayed on him constant peace, right? He does not say whose mind is wandering, whose mind is troubled about what's going to happen today tomorrow and thereafter he said whose mind is kept on him right and so in one of my previous videos i meant i mentioned the things that we should be thinking of and those are the think of those things that are just think of those things that are lovely think of those things that are pure right those that is you thinking on god's um not thoughts but you're thinking how god wants you to think right and those pure thoughts and those godly thoughts is what translates to God giving you perfect peace, right? But in order for you to get perfect peace, you have to think on those things, right? God is giving you what you need to think on, right? So once we do that, that's when God will give us, give us the peace, right? But in order to get that peace, we also have to trust God, right? We're not going to just have, as they say, the old folks say, or the old folks saints, excuse me, or the old saints, that is, they say, um lip service right you can't just have lip service when you say god i trust you right you gotta know that you trust god what does that look like when you trust in god okay god i don't know how you gonna do this but guess what i know what your word says i know your word says that if i keep my mind on you right i mean keeping my mind is i'm going to renew my mind daily right and then also the Bible says that I need to think on these things, right? And so I'm going to think on the things that are lovely. I'm going to think of those things that are just. I'm going to think of those things that are pure. And I'm going to give you praise, right? Because the Bible says to think on these things. I mean, thinking on those things, those things are of you. So God, I know because I'm thinking on these things that you have to give me peace because that's what your word says. You have to give me these things because that's the condition. There's a condition when you do what God, when God, when you follow God, God's word, there is a condition, right? And he does not just have empty promises. God does not have empty promises. His promises will happen, but you got to do what God tells you to do, right? And it comes with a condition. It's not you do this and I'm, you do this and I give you this. But if you don't do this, this is what you're going to reap, right? So if you're going to worry, right? If you're going to worry, you're not going to have peace. 
If you're going to doubt God, you're not going to have peace. But when you think on the things of God, that's when God will release that. And what, what is God going to release? God is going to release that peace, right? Because you're trusting God, right? But, okay, as I stated, there's a condition, right? So once you trust, right? Because trust starts in the heart, right? Right? Trust starts in the heart, right? So once you begin to trust God, right? Because you believe what his word is telling you, then you renew your mind, right? Because your heart and your mind is connected, right? So you renew your mind. And then after that, renewing your mind, and you're thinking on the things that are of God, thinking on the things that are just, the things that are pure and lovely, right? Then God will release that peace to you, right? Because there is a condition, right? Because when you don't do that, then you won't have... You can't have, when you don't do that, God won't fulfill what he has promised you, right? But you got to do what God says first because God has given us the instruction, right? And so you have to follow the instruction, right? So we're not going to be disobedient, right? So if you're being disobedient, so how can God bless you when you're being disobedient, right? So we got to have, we have to work. You have to flow in obedience when it comes to God because God's not going to bless you when you're disobedient. So that's, that's the scripture, right? So what does that look like for you in this season? That means it's a daily reminder that God says, if I keep my mind on him, this is what he's going to give me. But I got to trust him, right? It says, because he trusts in thee. That is the King James Version. And then that Amplified Bible says, because he trusts and takes refuge in in you with hope and competent expectation confident because i'm confident that god is going to do this i'm confident in god and his word right i'm not going to doubt god i'm confident in his word and that his word is his word like it's going to come to pass because that is God's word, right? It's You know what? It's funny. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is telling me, you know what? Sometimes we, we think it's always on our time, right? And it's never on our time. But you know what? It's always at the right time, right? So when we trust God and confident in his word, that's when God will release that peace, right? So in this season, what I want you to do is little by little, take the initiative to trust God. Little by little, get in your word, okay? Little by little, release what you're going through and give it to God. Because God says to cast all your cares onto him. But little by little, what we're going to do is we're going to renew those minds. What I'm giving you is little nuggets. But then when I give you the nuggets, that means that you have to put it into action, right? I can, I can lead you there, but you got to do the rest of it, right? So in this season... I'm going to walk you. I'm going to hold your hand because like I said, no one's going to be left behind. But what you got to do is you got to activate what God has already put inside of you because it's already inside of you. He's just waiting for you to activate it. So therefore he can release those blessings because they're yours. They are yours. God has promised it to you. God has promised you peace, but you got to do what God told you to do first. All right, so you got to think on the things that are just, think of the things that are lovely. You got to think on God, right? Think on all those things. Right. What scripture was that? So that scripture that I'm th uh, that I'm talking about, like I said, stated that I said in a previous video was Philippians seventh verse verses um, seven through eight. Right. And it says, like I said, speaking of things are just speak of those things. Think on those things that are honest. Think on those things are whatsoever lovely, whatever those things are good report or in our um, good virtue and praise think on these things right so god has given us what we should be thinking about right and because we're thinking about those that means our mind is on god right right and so our, because our mind is on god and we're trusting god god is going to release that peace to us so again like i said it's a renewing of the mind right so you have to renew your mind daily you have to renew your mind renew your mind to think of those things because it doesn't help happen overnight but as long as you try as long as you continue to get up right you might fall down but you got to keep going you might get knocked down but you got to keep going you might get pushed down you got to keep going you got to keep going in the season that's what i keep hearing you got to keep going this season no matter how hard it is you got to keep going in this season all right you got to keep going because your mind is very powerful and i think that's sometimes where we forget that our mind is so powerful but you got to know how powerful your mind is in this season okay all right, guys. So, again, mindset. That's where we're at. Mindset. If I had to give a topic for today, it would be mindset. 
your mindset. In order for your mindset to be of God, you got to think on godly things. And as I've said, that is those things that are just, those things that are lovely, those things that are pure. Think on God so therefore God can give you that peace because that peace is given to you, but there is a condition for you to get that peace. In order for you to get that peace, you got to think on the things of God and you have to keep your mind constantly on God. It's going to be hard. No one says it's going to be easy, but as long as you do it, there God will release that peace to you. All right, guys. So now we're going to roll right into our, um, right, right now we're going to roll into our product review. All right. Okay. We're going to roll right into our product review. And that is what the Alani knew, right? So if you haven't noticed or not, your girl loves everything health related wise, right? Fitness wise. So as I mentioned before that I do have a lot of gut issues, um, or tolerant food intolerance issues that is, um, and so I've been trying, been playing around with uh, different proteins I want to try, right? And so Alani New caught my eye. I'm not going to lie. It was the design of it. I was like, hey, this looks fun. This looks vibrant, right? So the first one I got, this is what caught my eye. And I was like, fun and vibrant. That's why I bought it, right? So it's the Alani New Plant Protein Frosted Flurry, right? So it says high quality protein recovery, muscle growth. And for this one, um, it's one scoop. And it's 110 calories, it's 17 grams of protein, and it says our premium blend of watermelon seed, pumpkin seed, and pea protein is the perfect combination of ingredients to ensure awesome texture and flavor. We also pack 30 servings into every container so that you get the best value for your hard-earned dollar, right? So I cannot remember what I paid for this, but I would definitely put it in the description, right? So, um... I liked it. I thought it was amazing. So I tried it with water and I tried it with milk. Honestly, I really like this better with milk and it was really good on my stomach. Like my stomach did not hurt. And so you can tell that it's empty, right? Because I like to try it out for the full time, right? I don't want to do two weeks or whatnot, but I like to try the whole thing before I give a review on it. So that's just my type of things that I like, right? So, um, I guess they did. It tasted like cookies and cream to me. Um, it tastes way better with milk. So I'm saying if you're going to get this brand, you should probably tell you, try it with milk, right? And so the other flavor that I tried was the Cinnabons. And I think this one's my favorite, right? Because it really tastes like, um, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, right? So I did try it with water and I did try it with milk. So I honestly think I like it with water because it's sweet, right? So for my sweet tooth people, if you think you cannot go without sweets, you gotta try this. And I'm not lying. It's like really amazing, guys. It's it's amazing. Like it is worth every penny. Okay, it is definitely worth every penny. Like I stated, I'm the type of person when I give a review, like I like to try the full thing, right? I like I don't wanna say, hey, this is what it's you know, two weeks in. Unless it's just straight disgusting, right? I'm gonna at least try it, right? But Alani knew this new brand. I love it. It's amazing. And so this one um, is 18 grams of protein. And um, this one again is one scoop, 110 calories. And um, I'm going to read the side of it. It's a suggested use. It says add one scoop to six to eight ounces of water or a beverage of your choice and mix thoroughly. Enjoy it anytime during the day to help meet your protein requirements, right? So it is gluten free. There's zero added sugar and it is vegan, right? So I am a vegetarian, right? So I, I I tried this and it is amazing. So guys, if you are a plant-based um, individual, I would say go get this brand. It is amazing. Um, as of now, they only have two, as of now, they only have two flavors. So that is the Frosted Flurry and it's more so like cookies and cream. Now, like I said, this one tastes really good with milk. And then the Cinnabons, this one is kind of like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I like it with water. The milk, the uh, I used almond milk, so it was still a tad bit too sweet for me. So water is what worked for me. And if I had to buy both of them again, I would go with this one. But if let's say they didn't have this in a store, I would definitely get this one because they're, they're both amazing, right? It's just my preference. So guys, go out and try these. Let me know how you like them because they're really amazing for my people that are on a plant-based, um, lifestyle diet whatever you want to call it so i would say plant plant-based lifestyle right 
so just let me know guys because i love this brand all around okay guys so again what i talked about was mindset and we're gonna work on our mindset right and just think on the things that are, are of god right because once we think of those things that are god and we trust god god is gonna release that peace to us right because in the season that's what we want we want peace we don't we don't want worry right that is not our portion worrying is not our portion doubt is not our portion what is our portion is it's peace in this season and it is attainable because it's in god's word all right guys be blessed i love you